The window for potential Bitcoin spot ETF acceptance is closed, but within the coming 53 days, we will be seeing the first Bitcoin spot ETF. So I will be explaining why. I will talk about the Bitcoin CME gap that we're currently creating, the most important price action that we're currently can spot on the market, the biggest support, the biggest resistance, what are we looking at right now here, important stuff. And of course, I will talk about the liquidity. Where does the liquidity in the market lay? So many important things will be discussed on today's update video. So without any further ado, don't forget, to slap off the like button back about 400 likes that will be absolutely incredible and with that being said let me jump straight away in towards the content so first of all bitcoin created a new cme gap currently sitting around 36 000 US dollars and we're expecting that of course bitcoin is probably going to be trading somewhere around the cme futures price so in a normal weekend bitcoin will be just hovering around at 36.6k and then coming on the monday we will be seeing some new moves getting created so this is the cme futures chart and we're we're just going to be expecting that Bitcoin is going to do nothing very special. Honestly, if we're looking at the previous weekends, we have seen that Bitcoin created the CME gap three weeks ago. And yes, that CME gap is still not filled up. It's sitting around 34,000 US dollars. And we even got one lower here, sitting somewhere around 29,000 US dollars. That also has not filled up here since Bitcoin has been pumping a little bit over the course of that weekend. So yes, yeah, sometimes we can be pumping or dumping over the course of the weekend. But 95% of all the times that Bitcoin creates a me gap it tends to get filled up so it is going to be likely to expect that it is going to get filled up again here so we created bearish divergence on the top side i warned everyone about it bitcoin came down again here and now we're once again creating a higher low so bitcoin is still creating higher lows together with higher highs so the trend remains to be overly bullish but the momentum looks to be drying up a little bit here so bitcoin if we're just purely looking at it is still trading in an upward sloping support line the trend is still overly looking very bullish and of course if bitcoin potentially breaks below the support line right here that is the point where i should potentially start to be worrying but honestly i am still quite excited about bitcoin and of course i've said this also in yesterday's video if we can break above this liquidity zone here on the top side sitting around 38 000 US dollars I will be expecting we could see a very big short squeeze and then Bitcoin could potentially even enter towards the next range. But however, I will remain to be expecting that Bitcoin is not going to be so super volatile until the news is going to hit the market or it's going to be hinting towards us that the Bitcoin spot TTF is really going to get accepted. Because yesterday, actually, we saw that the uh, 1.5 trillion US dollar asset manager Franklin Templins, their Bitcoin spot TTF got delayed. And right now, the potential window for Bitcoin spot ETF acceptance is closed but i already said this that this was of course already a thing that i didn't really believe in but what i do believe in is that the bitcoin spot ttf is going to get accepted before january 10 because that is the final deadline of the arc invest bitcoin spot etf application and this etf deadline is going to be hitting the markets in 52 days here so just expect that probably the bitcoin spot etf is going to hit the markets in the coming 52 days and that is coming closer and closer because 52 days is just one and a half month that's very close from now on it's just a matter of time before it's going to hit the market and i'm also expecting that once bitcoin comes closer towards that january the 10th date I will be expecting that probably Bitcoin is going to be experiencing some more volatility and that could potentially also lead towards a potential breakout here towards the upside. So we're going to be just very much waiting before this news is going to hit the markets. But at the same time, we can clearly see that the Tether market cap has been significantly increasing and so has the Bitcoin price action has. And we do know that if the Tether market caps moves up here, usually the Bitcoin price action tends to be following exponentially as well. So that is a very interesting take. At the same time, Still, the daily time frame does look a little bit worried because on the daily time frame, it looks to be that we're losing some momentum. And that is potentially a sign of worry in the market right now here. But of course, on the bigger perspective, if there's going to be any news hit the market, it could still continue towards the upside. But I just want to be warning everyone out there that the daily momentum is not looking so strong here. But looking at the liquidations and the liquidity basically in the market, where we will be expecting the Bitcoin price action to surge towards, we can see one level here on the lower side where a lot of long liquidations are laying somewhere around 35.6k and we see this big level here on the top side sitting around 38.2k so these are two very important levels where bitcoin probably is going to be finding and going to go towards to find some liquidity and the lower side is going to be 35.6k so if we're going to be bottoming on the lower side that we'll be expecting it's going to be somewhere in 35.4 to 35.3k and on the top side we are seeing a lot of liquidations somewhere around 300 million US dollars laying um, around the 38.3k level so 
pretty interesting to be looking at that on the top side it's of course shorts on the lower sides it's of course long positions and you saw it also previously around that basically once we were creating these uh, these big liquidation levels bitcoin is just looking for liquidity so here was a lot of liquidity laying in the market and bitcoin pushed towards the upside and then went down again here so as soon as we create a lot of liquidity in a certain region bitcoin is usually going to go towards that region so that is basically what i've been expecting and that is why uh, right now probably we're going to continue to go sideways and once enough liquidity has built up we're probably going to go and search for that liquidity in the market further on we can see that the funding rates are actually close to neutral again here what is of course a very good thing here and basically the funding rates got completely reset here after bitcoin had this very interesting price action of going up going down going up again and then going down again so a lot of people probably got wrecked so be very careful with trading bitcoin right here so if you actually want to be trading bitcoin make sure to go to the link description of today's video where you can claim a deposit bonus up to forty thousand dollars and without this link it's only 400 so it's a win-win situation and if you even go to the website here right now you can actually find a link in the description of today's video where you can claim a free 1000 US dollar airdrop position on Bitcoin, on Ethereum or on Pepe and all you need to do here is sign up an account using that link below, deposit $100 within 7 days and claim your insane deposit bonus worth 1000 US dollars. So it's a super valuable deposit bonus and make sure to check it out right now here. At the same time, Bitcoin on the 3 day time frame is actually still creating this downward stopping resistance line here on the top side and potentially we are actually creating a rising wedge pattern or a rising wedge formation uh, what is of course a typical bearish bias formation but honestly i am of course not bearish on bitcoin right now here but we are actually sitting here at the top side of this region right so there are some risks increasing for bitcoin since it has seen such an exponential rally towards the upside but of course like i said at the beginning of the video i think we should be just waiting for the news day at the markets because i really think that the news is the main driver of the bitcoin price right now here and we can see that we currently are trading above this key level of this previous weekly big previous support that right now once again looks to be flipping into support again so this is looking very strong for bitcoin and as long as we do hold up towards this level in the weekly time frame i actually think Bitcoin is looking quite strong right here. And of course, we do know that Bitcoin potentially right now is at the beginning stage of this exponential rally towards the upside since we are currently going overbought on that weekly time frame. And honestly, if we're looking at on-chain data, we can see that all the indications are pointing towards that the bear market is already behind this. And I shared this also, this data in the bear market, guys. Well, I said, this is the biggest buying opportunity you will probably ever get. And historically speaking, it was, again, the biggest buying opportunity we ever had. And if this signal will once again flash in the next bear market, I will share it again. But I shared it so many times on my Twitter page. I shared it here on YouTube so many times. And once again, this indicator on-chain data predicted the exact bear market bottom again and if we're looking about what stage we're currently in if you compare it to 2016 or 2020 we're in the reaccumulation phase back in towards the next bull run so get ready right now here i am excited but yeah i mean once again on-chain data is the best way on how to predict these things here and it has been once again predicting the exact bear market bottoms and it will be most likely once again predict the exact bull market top and it will also predict the local top so once the net unrealized profit and loss the nupple goes in towards the green it potentially will mean that we're going to be finding a short-term top just like we had here in 2016 and just like we had here in the bull market and just like we had in this bull market here as well and if it even goes in towards the blue it's definitely make sure to sell right now and once this signal flashes you will be the first one to know here on the channel so this was it for me in today's update video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye